Hey guys, so today we're going to be breaking down LF Super 17 and Bola slash Vegeta Assist. Um, so I did a very, very, very long in-depth breakdown of Super 17 yesterday. I uh, go through his entire kit, but there are a few things we don't know about him right now, such as um, his stats. And then also we're not going to know uh, the animations really until we get to use him. When I say animations, I mean basically the, the animations tied to his green card, like how long they are, what kind of openings he has when he uses the green card, stuff like that. So we won't be able to tell that until we actually use him, but let's just take out his stats first. Uh, we know he's a range type. Uh, they sort of hinted to that in the official post. This art is really good. <laughs> this is a pretty good art here. Uh, it's kind of like a, like an upscaled version or like a, like, like a, a, a premium version of the free to play characters we got throughout 2023. That's sort of like sideways facing pose. All right, so let's go ahead and display max stats here. All right, so in terms of his offenses, they're actually a little low. Uh, he's gonna have a sub 250 strike and then like high 250 blast attack. Okay, I mean, main offense being high 250s is definitely pretty low um, compared to most other, uh, you know, offensive characters we've seen recently, so. That is definitely good to note. Defensively, he's looking very solid. He's gonna be at 180K strike and then like 183-ish K blast. That's very good. Um, all right, so in terms of his kit, I'm not gonna go through the entire thing because we basically already know what he does, but I wanna just highlight three things real quick. Obviously, the first one is gonna be his green card. Really, really, really dumb. <laughs> we'll just go through this real quick. Absorbs enemy key blasts uh, upon uh, activation. So no, absorbs enemy key blast attacks. Yes. That's just the general effect. And then there's two different sides to the screen card. There's the effects that activate upon activation. And then there's the effects that activate upon you actually successfully absorbing a key blast. So upon activation, he goes type neutral for 10 counts, which note that is not just defensively. That is also offensively. He's going to reduce enemy key by 50 and he's going to seal the enemy's main ability in rising rush for five counts. Very strong. Even if you miss the green card, it's going to be a little bit tough for your opponent to really capitalize too much off of that. So there's a very, I don't want to say very low risk with this, but there is significantly less risk with this than we probably would have thought <laughs> this would have a, a tied to it. All right. And then if you're successfully able to absorb a key blast attack, you're going to restore your own vanish engage by 100% activates three times, 100% to own unique gauge charge rate for five timer counts, 50% to blast starts damage inflicted for 10 timer counts, reduces enemy key by 50, reduces their vanish engage to 0%, and inflicts no switching for three counts, which is twice, activates twice. Um, the second thing to highlight with this character is he does have an interesting ability here where he actually does draw an extra ultimate arts card when you perform a special cover change, which is definitely nice. So if you, if you cover change with Super 17 and you don't get the special cover change off, he doesn't like waste the ultimate draw off of that. This only does draw the ultimate if you are able to perform your special cover change. And then you are able to chain the special cover change into the ultimate here. So really dumb. Uh, the ultimate, by the way, is an AOE. The Flash Bomber Massive Impact Damage is going to nullify Endurance, re uh, restore his own key. Um, and then it's going to do extra damage depending on how many enemy battle members are remaining. The less remaining, the higher the damage boost is going to be. Then he's also going to draw a green card as well as doing uh, the AOE damage with Blast Armor. So really powerful effect there. Uh, finally, he does have a unique gauge. This unique gauge is charged up based upon how often you are going to attack with this character. So it's the same style of unique gauge to Blue Beast Gohan to Ultra Gogeta. Um, and I think it's probably going to end up charging at the same rate because of the wording being the same. So that certainly is going to be pretty. He gets a lot of <laughs> a lot of buffs from getting his unique gauge filled up. He draws a blast card, heals up, he gets key, gets damage for 50 counts, so long. Five counts of cover null, reduce enemies, dragon balls, cancels actually downgrades to normal conditions. And then he has multiple ways of increasing the charge rate of his unique gauge as well. The first time he uses an arts card, when he's about it, he's getting 400% to unique gauge charge for the, for the first arts card used. So uh, that, he also increases the, uh, the rate when you land a green card with him. Uh, just overall a really ridiculous looking character. So we'll see how well he performs when we take a look at him later. 
All right, so Bulla and Vegeta, we have not taken uh, a look at what this character is able to do because we did not have access to their kit until now. They are a purple support type character. Um, okay. So before we jump in and take a look at what they're actually able to do here, I will just make a quick note that there have been not that many designated support type characters that have come out recently. Typically, when we see support mechanics, they're tied to characters that are doing other things. So for example, uh, Path to Power Kid Goku, he supports the team with damage inflicted when he fills up his unique gauge. The Gammas just provide damage when the battle starts. Right, so these characters are like Beast Gohan is giving blast damage to the whole team when the battle starts. So we have these characters that are just, you know, typical offensive or defensive style units that are also just on top of their normal abilities, also supporting the team. Uh, so this is going to be the first like actual dedicated clear support type character we've gotten in a while. So I'm interested to see how they handle this. Um, the interesting thing about this character is they should be on a lot of teams. Yeah, hybrids, GT, Vegeta Clan, and Saiyan. That's a lot. Because, of course, this character is going to have all the tags that are um, applicable to Vegeta and Bulla. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at the stats here. Uh, offenses, not that great, but I mean, support type, so can't really expect them to be super great. It's going to have like low 250 strike. So they are a bit more strike oriented, which is a little bit strange to me because. GT has positioned itself now with Super 17 being a blast character as more of a blast team. Okay, I mean, we'll, we'll have to see. We'll see. Uh, defenses, she's going to have mid 170s and then low 180s. Okay, not bad. We'll take that. Uh, normal strike and blast. We know the blue card is a melee blue card, has blast armor, massive impact damage, and upon activation, 50% special move damage inflicted for three counts. That's a lot. 50%. On top of it doing massive, okay. And then shortens ally sub count by three. That's upon activation as well. So even if you miss the blue card, you're still gonna be reducing sub count. Interesting. Uh, the green card is a girl's shout. So this is a, I think this is a stop time, yeah. Rain only draws one new card, restores on health by 10% and key by 50. 30% to the next special move damage inflicted. Cannot be stacked. Minus 15 to the next special move arts cost, okay. Seals enemy strike arts for five counts and then cancels enemy attribute upgrades. Um, okay. I mean, the interesting thing to note about this is this is not actually providing any kind of supporting capabilities here. Um, I think it would have been better if the heal was a team heal. So 10% healing to the whole team would have made this, I think, significantly better because one thing that GT has established about itself is that it is a very heal heavy team. GT Spirit Bomb Goku is healing a lot. Um, you have the other Pan character, Pan, Giru, and Trunks, who heal a lot. And uh, Super 17 also seems like he's going to be healing a lot as well. Remember, Super 17 does heal 3% of his health whenever the enemy uses a card. Uh, it's, it's the ultra hit mechanic. Um, so it would have been, you know, sort of on theme for this to heal the team, but sure. Uh, I'm not really, honestly, I'm not really a huge fan of this green card. It's fine. It's not anything too crazy. Sealing cards is pretty interesting. Sealing strikes, because you can just, you can use this in mid range, and then you can just go for a tackle, and the enemy pretty much has to, has to vanish. All right, then the ultimate, uh, massive impact damage, applies the flying effects to self-pawn activation, 40% ultimate damage inflicted for three counts, minus 20% enemy sustained damage cut, 30% chance to faint. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then blast armor, 30% chance to faint, huh? All right. Uh, main ability, draw the ultimate arts card, dad's gallant gun, source key by 50. No healing on main ability. No healing on main ability in 2024. Okay. 30% uh, permanent damage, 30% permanent critical rate, 30% permanent critical damage. 20 counts of cover null and then shortens ally sub count by three. That's a pretty good main ability. I just don't understand why it doesn't heal. There's actually no reason for this to not heal. Okay, interesting. Oh, uh, but yeah, that's obviously pretty good. Critical damage plus rate is not something we see too often. That's like Super Saiyan Bardock territory. Uh, Z ability. I was hoping maybe they'd be an HP buffer, but they are not. 34% uh, to GT, Vegeta Clan, or Hybrid Saiyan, Strike, and Blast Defense. So both defenses. And then 18% to GT Blast Tack. When, when they're more of a strike character, okay. Uh, unique ability number one. Shortens own sub count by one as default. That's fine. 
Uh, falling effects occur in battle. Starts 90% damage inflicted. Reduced damage received by 60%. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, we're, we can't do this anymore. I don't care. I, if they get, I don't care if they get damage reduction elsewhere in their kit. I, I don't care. This has to be 70. That bottom line, this, this has to be 70. You take a look at the Pan, Giru, and Trunks character. They have 70 here and they get one shot. <laughs> They get one shot by type neutral blue cards. Like, you, you cannot have 60% here. You, 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 you just can't do this anymore. Uh, so that is a very bad sign. Minus five to own blast hurts cost. Uh, five is a little low. 20% to own health restoration. 20% to damage inflicted by allies. Okay, that's a just a start of turn buff to the whole team. That's nice. Applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. Randomly draws one new card. Okay. 30 key, 50% damage inflicted, card draw speed for 15 counts. Why is the card draw speed not just not just baseline? That's pretty much also something that we've just gotten for like every character. Uncancelable card draw speed, just baseline. Is pretty much like what we need to see on every unit. So yeah. Okay. Uh applies the following effects to allies per remaining battle member. 10% to ultimate and awaken damage for 15 counts. That's going to be, if you have a full team alive, that's 30%. Sure. 50% um, to key recovery. Wow. That's actually really good. Because that's per, def per remaining battle member. So you're giving 150% to key recovery support. That's really good. That's by far the best thing I've seen from this character so far. 150% to key recovery support for the team. Um, the only thing about this is it's going to activate when she enters the battlefield for 15 counts. So it's one of these things where it's like she's supporting the team, but she's supporting when she enters the battlefield for a certain number of counts. So I'm not sure how much uptime you're going to have on this for the other characters. Applies the following effects to allies in this character's video because she has death buffs, 15% healing, 10% damage inflicted, and uh, shortened sub count by two for 30 counts. That's interesting. So I think this is the first time you've ever seen this. So she's going to die. And then for the remaining two battle, assuming you have two battle members remaining, for the remaining two battle members, she's going to give them minus two sub counts. So they're only going to have eight sub counts in between switching. Okay, I mean, I'm not sure how useful it's going to be, especially if she's... So if she's the second character to die in her team, this is not going to do anything. This is only valuable if she's the first one dead. Uh, okay. Uh, she has a cover change against strikes. We have a lot of strike cover changes in GT. Uh, combo both the blue card, applies the flying effects to enemy every time when hit with an enemy's arts attack while this character's in the battlefield. Reduce key by 30, activates once, and then reduces key by 30, activates twice. Okay, she's going to be reducing key by 60 and then 30. Or, uh, 60 key reduction is really, really good. Falling effects occur when this character is switched to standby. Randomly draws one new card when you have three or fewer cards. So she's drawing a card for uh, the team. Restores allies health by 10% and key by 30. 20% damage inflicted by allies for 15 counts. Cancels allies attribute downgrades in normal conditions. The following effects occur every time this character uses an arts card. Restores own health by 3%. 10% damage inflicted for 10 counts. Shortens allies health count by 1. Activates once and then activation count resets. Um, I think this 10% damage inflicted should have been to the whole team, I think. Um, yeah, I don't, this is just, this is just unacceptable. 60% reduced damage received. No, can't do that. Um, I'm not really, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not really feeling this character. I don't think they were made even remotely good enough, unfortunately. And on top of them being purple as well, she doesn't go type neutral. She doesn't have endurance. Um, there's a lot missing here i i don't know i think this is a flop this character but we'll see maybe, maybe they actually are much better in practice than they appear but i'm uh, not really gonna be not really too high on this character as of right now unfortunately all right let's go into the equipment we should be getting some new equipment this week because we do have a new co-op season and we have a new rush this week as well uh, no new PvP season. This, this PvP season is going to continue for one more week. So no new PvP equipment. 
Uh, okay, so that is going to be the new co-op equip. Let's see what this is. All right, we're loading. We're loading. All right, so this is for GT Powerful Opponent. This is a lot. There's a lot of characters that can use this. GT Powerful Opponent and Androids. Uh, okay, so we have Strike Defense 28%, Blast Defense 28%, and then 5 to 12% to own Strike and Blast Attack when tag GT and Character 17 is a battle member. Okay. Um, so in case you guys are wondering, this game actually does consider Super 17 to be Android 17. This is a very specific equip. I mean, it is if you're using 17, if you're using um, Super 17 on your team, like this is very good. 20% both defenses and then 12% to both pure offenses is very good. But that's it's pretty, it's pretty specific. Okay, I mean, at least the conditions are pretty pretty broad. GT powerful opponent or androids, which of course are Super 17's all of his teams there. Okay. Alrighty, and then we should have an awakened equip to look at too. What do we got? All right, we got this. So this is GT and androids. Huh, wonder who that's supposed to be for. Uh, health restoration and ultimate damage, 10%. Base strike and base blast, 20%. And then HP at 12%. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, the thing with GT is GT has access already to a lot of very good equipment. Um, so even though this is like a really good equip, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be like, oh my god, this is head and shoulders better than like uh, every other equipment you can use. Like this is probably still going to be what you want to put on Super 17, but this is not going to be some like ridiculous upgrade over some of the other really good GT equips that the team has access to. So, I mean, I'm still going to we're gonna farm this up gt plus andrew i mean the good thing about this one is you probably don't need more than one of these because you're not gonna you're probably not gonna be using more than one gt android right i mean purple 17 definitely has not aged uh the most exquisitely he's, he's okay he's not bad but uh obviously super 17 is who you want to use this for okay um it looks like that's going to be it for this week by the way we're also getting a raid on top of um on top of the banner today plus a new rush so decent amount of stuff to do a new co-op season as well let me know down below what you guys think of super 17 and then the new bulla slash vegeta character hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next one